Yo, if you like sambas, don't watch this video because this might actually trigger you. What's up guys? Thanks once again for tuning into the channel. This is Kickspore where we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're gonna to be talking as the title implies or the, what the title says. We're gonna be talking about these Sambas and why you should not buy these because basically I have seen these absolutely everywhere. And uh, I gotta admit, they look freaking awesome on feet, on these like, really cool fit pics that I've seen on these fashion bloggers and all this kind of stuff but I gotta admit when I actually tried them on myself I was in for a rude awakening because they didn't turn out how I imagined them um, this has happened probably a couple of times with other different kind of sneakers and all that kind of stuff Ugh, I was like shocked almost when I actually tried these ones I haven't been more I don't know how to say it, underwhelmed or like just so disappointed in a sneaker until I tried these ones because it's it's uh, okay. I'm gonna have to admit guys I did want to love this sneaker I was really really excited to actually try this one when it came to the mail I was just really excited to actually try them on but when I did oh man like first first open from the box I was just like oh, okay all right, I, I didn't have that special spark of a feeling I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about when you open up a special pair of sneakers you know that they're going to be special straight from the actual opening of the box. It's really a plain sneaker. So obviously I was just like, oh, nah, just maybe just try them on and I bet you your feeling would change. And sadly it didn't. Um, oh man, so I'm just going to go through it and tell you a couple of reasons why you should not buy this sneaker. Okay, so for the first reason is basically, so if you have really wide feet like I do, I mean, I don't have the widest feet, but they are pretty wide. That's why I always have to go with the 0.5 uh, on Nike sneakers because size nine is just too, uh, it's just too tight and it always hurts me on the pinky down here. Now, I got a size nine in this because that's what I, I am in all my Yeezys. And usually with my Ultra Boost and all that kind of stuff, I always get a size nine. So I got a size nine in this. When I tried it on, my feet were bulging. They were literally bulging outside of this sneaker it felt like my foot the side of my foot was almost going to be touching the floor like it's so bulging because the sole is only this big but your foot is like this big kind of thing if that makes sense like it just kind of ruined the whole kind of fantasy of what this might look like on my foot because i, I just saw it on so many people's instagram stories all their fit pics and all that kind of stuff and it just looks so awesome to them and oh man seriously it's just i was just really disappointed when i tried it on myself and I was just kind of like, oh man, I wish I had different feet. <laughs> I'll say that to myself. It looked like my foot didn't fit inside. The design of it works well with wide feet, but it just doesn't look that well. If I could say one word that kind of describes how I felt in this actual shoe for the first time, I was like, it looked like my foot was in a burrito. Like my foot was a burrito in this. It's just like so big. It was just like so tightly wound that it looked like a burrito. I don't know. And even my wife was just like, why do your feet look so small? <laughs> Those were her words and I was just kind of, I was just like, man, I kind of felt insecure for a second there. Like, <laughs> come on, man. If you have wide feet, I probably would recommend you guys to size up, maybe half or even a full size. This one, it fits nicely in terms of length this way. In terms of width, it's really tight and I only had a very, very minimal amount of space in the toe box. I think even if I went to a size nine and a half of this, I still think my feet would still look a little bit bulging and uh, I probably would not like it. So yeah, it, it ruined the mood for me and the whole kind of image. And uh, I, I don't know, I can't just get over it. So another reason why not to get this is if you have <laughs> height insecurities. You know what I'm talking about because uh, look at it guys. If you look at the actual sneaker, it is so low to the floor. Yeah, there's like hardly any cushioning or layering on the actual midsole. And the only cushion you get is from the actual insole. So this is the insole. That's the inside of the actual sneaker. And it's basically, I don't know if you guys could tell, it's like your foot is like on this line already. So there's not much space for like comfort. If you're used to wearing like really chunky sneakers all the time that give you a little bit of height, this is like definitely like the total opposite. I don't know, if you have like yeah, height insecurities, maybe this is not the sneaker for you. I know that that kind of includes me because I usually like a little bit more height added because I'm only 5'7 and any kind of uh, help in terms of boosting my height 
is greatly appreciated and definitely yeah this doesn't do it let me give you an example so this is the converse uh atcx's so you can see how chunky this sneaker looks and if i put it next to this one it's such a smaller silhouette it's like so small let's look at the soles like it really because if i try to look at it see how low much more lower you are to the floor compared to the i don't know if it's like a really good indication but if you look closely here yeah you're a lot higher in this sneaker than you are in this one if that makes sense so yeah if you have high insecurities or you really, really like you know want to get a boost and stuff because people are going to notice if you wear these ones if you wear high shoes all the time and you then wear this they're gonna be like man did you go shorter or something and no one wants to hear that you know so <laughs> i know it's been told to me a couple of times and i'm like oh man it's like oh with my chunky shoes at. <laughs> And another reason why you would not want to get these is if you like high quality materials. Uh, this was the price for this one was only 180 Australian dollars. So it was the most expensive sneaker. So just judging from that already, I could kind of tell that they, they wouldn't use the most expensive materials and all this kind of stuff compared to some other ones like the suede and all this kind of stuff. There is a little bit of suede on the toe box. Well, it feels like suede, but, uh, I could definitely tell from the materials on the leather that's crumbling. I don't know, man. It doesn't. It just doesn't feel like a high quality sneaker. You know what I mean? I mean, it looks all shiny and and nice now because it's brand new. I haven't really walked around them yet. I've only tried them on for um, cushioning and sizing purposes. But man, I'm definitely like, oh man, I really, um, I'm really not feeling these, especially because like I, I thought to myself like maybe something should spark like kind of my interest in this sneaker and nothing's really really doing it for me man like really really disappointed not on the sneaker all right guys it's not the sneaker's fault it's my foot's fault <laughs> it really is just my it's my body's fault basically it's just me ranting about it but like i don't know other people might have this kind of opinion about it as well because i know i'm not the only white foot out there and uh you know trying something like this maybe like i know there's other people that out there that might feel the way that I feel about this and like kind of how it kind of it doesn't benefit you in any way kind of thing other sneakers like you know they might look flashy or they're really comfortable uh they have really nice materials and all this kind of stuff but nothing's like really pulling it out for me for this sneaker if that makes sense so people definitely if you have narrow feet like skinny feet so if you look really nice in like new balance sneakers and all that kind of stuff especially the 550s and you don't need a size up these would look great on you it's like i have no hope for it <laughs> like to look good on me basically also if you love trends and all that kind of stuff this would definitely be a nice sneaker this is really a trendy sneaker just for me in my opinion because i don't see myself wearing this a lot in the future mainly because it doesn't have the like the whole comfort level that i kind of is a prerequisite for me now because i've bought so many sneakers already and i know what i like and it's 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 hard to go back from something that you always usually get. Look, the sneaker itself, like you know, there's no problem with it. The way it's made and all that kind of stuff. It's just that the way that I choose sneakers and wear them is definitely not like this. But if for a real sizing recommendation, I would tell you guys to stay true to your normal Nike size, if that makes sense. Measure your foot if you need to. So I thought the size nine would be the same, but it is not. So I will definitely go at least half a size up uh, if, compared to like your your Yeezys and all that kind of stuff. Maybe try them on in store first. They're a lot like Converse sneakers. If you have, or any brand new brand sneaker, I would always generally go to the store first to actually try them. But these were selling like hotcakes. So I was just, I, I couldn't even see them in store. So I had to buy them online. Uh, yeah, once again, it's just me. It's mainly my body not fitting this size sneaker well and this kind of style. It's not, it's not me and I thought it would be me because i thought oh man I, I really wanted to jump on this samba trend especially with the um you know the wide leg pants and all that kind of stuff i was like oh man it looks so really cool on them and i really wanted to try it on myself and no it didn't work ah oh, sneaker regret again but uh yeah you know what, what i mean guys i'm but i'm sure there's a lot of you guys that it did turn out really well let me know in the comments if they work well for you or if they don't if you're like me that your feet look really bulging in this actual sneaker Tell me if you have the same problems as I did. Anyway, guys, thanks once again for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope I was able to enlighten you in some way about the Samba sneaker. That it's not 
uh, like just because it's a trendy sneaker doesn't mean it matches everyone so thanks once again for watching this video guys i hope you learned something if you did please give me that big thumbs up if you like the content in general please consider subscribing to the channel and i shall see you guys in the next one peace